Now, we can also do split checks at the bar, which is very cool as well. So if I hit server menu here, here's my tabs. And if I need to split a check, even if it's, even if it's at the bar, I can do split check, JSON. I can add a joiner. And I can take the Coors, the Corona, and the Margarita. Now, I know that that check is ready to go. Jason's standing there with his money in his hand. So most systems make you hit done, then go to close, then close the check. I can literally right. here hit pay seat two. And then oh, and on, exactly. And I can swipe the check here. I can also, for example, if it was two credit cards, and they said here, uh, you know, split this between two credit cards then I don't even have to touch uh, the amounts. I can simply hit credit card. I can swipe the first one. I can swipe the second great. one. Great. And it will start splitting it down. That's great. Yeah, it's quick. It's easy. Now, another cool thing. I can actually, from the order screen, go Well Vodka, Budweiser, Pitcher. And if they're ready to pay, I can literally swipe my credit card right then. That's cool. Right. Actually, I can't be over right ten dollars. Yep. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Yep. But right I here, I can go swipe. It'll go out, authorize it, and come back. We can also do check IDs. So if uh, you had, you know, a bartender or a server that wanted to uh, use this feature, then they can simply swipe the credit card. I mean, the driver's license and uh, and check oh, his age cool. that way. Yeah. Huh. We can wow. also add add to a deposit. So if I wanted to put, you know, ten dollars on Jason's tab with a credit card and leave, I can hit pay deposit. I can do ten dollars, and then swipe the credit card. It's probably going to tell me it's a duplicate card because I'm using training cards. And there you right. go. Right. So I can That's add. Right. Now when I go to close that check, it will know that I've already put ten dollars on credit card. I can pay the rest. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Um, so, and I could change up the fast part. It's easy to change, and everything's easy to change up. If I want to add, you know, let's say I just want, instead of having well vodka, I just want to call it Fedco, or I yep. want to, you know, I want my, so, all right, cool. And then, and then the other thing, um, as far as being able to delete items and void items. Mm -hmm. From the screen? To delete stuff. Yeah, from the screen or from the check? From the check. From the check is massively easy. Uh, it's the same steps as voiding. So basically what happens is that I'm a bartender, I go in, I pull up my check, and when you hit Glass Merlot, void, enter manager's ID or swipe the card, and then the manager will simply take his card, swipe it, and void selected right. items, yes, and that's it. You can put in reasons, you can type one in if there's something strange, like, you know, Jeff got drunk again, fell down. Uh, we can do that. <laughs> that happens often. Oh, well, often. That's, I've got photos. Crazy chef. So. Crazy chef. <laughs> Crazy job. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, so voids are easy. Discounts work the same way. Unlimited discounts, unlimited uh, voids, unlimited really everything. And uh, like I said, uh, and I've you know just read this before, but the only limitation we have is on the number of items per check, and that's 24,999. <laughs> uh, hopefully what? Hopefully we'll have that problem. Exactly. <laughs> and then we'll just open up a second one. We're off and running. Right. right so, yeah, exactly. voids are easy. Uh, again, you can do uh, multiple closes. So if I did have a couple of other checks, let me hit start tab. Uh, let's do tab name. Let's do Jeff. And when I go to server menu, so if I've got a bunch of tabs that I want to close to cash, I can simply hit multi-close. Yeah. This check, this check, close check, close all checks to cash, yes, done. I mean, everything we've done is for speed, honestly. That's right. that's right. how we roll. I like are, you gonna do, are you going to do any phone orders or carryouts or anything? I, I'm probably going to do Grubhub, which is, is going to be a delivery thing. And, yes, we will do phone orders for sure. Cool. Well, we can do f delivery and uh, carryout. And by simply hitting phone order, uh -huh. I can go in, I can put in the phone number, I can put in the name as well, but let's go 555-1212, oops, there we go, I can put in then the uh, name, I can put in the rest of the information if I have time, now I can either do order type pickup or delivery with one touch, I want to pick up at, for example, 5 p.m., or I want it ready in 25 minutes. 
Cool. And again, kindergarten English. But uh, production time on most of your items are going to be 20 minutes. That's default. Uh, right. Here is the last time that this person ordered. Oh, cool. And then from here, I can also do pickup dates. So I can do an advanced date. Like if I wanted to order a bunch of wings for Sunday football, then right. I can uh, accept the date. I can also pay a deposit for it as well. Oh, so, nice. for example, if I wanted to put in a $100 deposit, I can either pay credit card or cash, apply it to cash. And now that is actually in today's responsibility, but next, when they close, it's when the uh, sales actually hit. Right. I can have eight caller line IDs. So if you really start doing a tremendous uh, amount of carryout, we can put a caller ID on it so it answers it. Last oh, order cool. is here if, uh, if I had one. Place an order, I just put in the order. So bar menu. That's cool. Something else, if you're going to do carry out, this is very cool. I can do a regular pizza. I don't know if you're going to use a pizza or not, but I'm going to kind of go through it real quick. But the deluxe pizza, we can put modifiers that are included in that item in green. So, for example, if you're right. on the phone. So you, and they, so you can't hit a tomato. Exactly. Right. Well, here's right. what happens. What's on that pizza? Well, instead of trying to get a menu or looking for the board, well, that comes with pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, peppers. Well, I don't want mushrooms, so with one touch, I can take off mushrooms. There's no mushrooms. And I want to add jalapenos. Oh, cool. So with, well, I can so take four just, touches. So the, green, so the green is the actual pizza, and then the, the white's the modifiers, and for, and for none, you can hit the red. Exactly. Oh, cool. And we can do that for anything, for, you know, pastas, for, you know, burgers, sandwiches, whatever you, you know, have that it has modifiers right. included. We can do that. So cool. I can hit done. Now that order is into the kitchen, or it will sit uh, and wait until like 20 minutes before the order, and then it will pop up and say pending orders, or we can send it into the kitchen automatically. Your call. When I go Great. to bar functions, phone order, access phone orders, here's my orders that I have. Here's the time that they've been in. I can then, if they walk in, if this is a carryout, and they walk in, they want a pitcher of beer. I can simply hit the order. I can go to my bar beverages, and I can order a pitcher of Bud Light. So I can add to that order as well, and I can hit done. When they're ready to pay right. out, and I can put phone orders here, by the way, as well. I've got it buried, you know, because I'm doing a lot of demo stuff. So I can put any of right. these buttons here. But I can do That's phone great. orders, access, and when I'm ready to tender the order, I can simply hit tender. That's correct. I can either hit cash or tender, and now they already have a $100 deposit, so I have a refund. That's no fun. Let me go add some more. That's awesome, yeah. dude. I love it. All right, cool. I mean, I